Sunflower oil, often referred to as liquid gold, is a staple in kitchens around the world, not only for its delightful taste, but also for its remarkable health benefits. But have you ever wondered how this golden liquid comes to life? Join us on a journey, from the sun-drenched fields where the sunflowers stand tall, to the intricate processes that transform their seeds into the versatile oil we know so well. This is a story of nature's bounty, human ingenuity, and the delicate balance between them. Our story starts in the vast sunflower fields where this bright, cheerful flower takes root. Imagine, if you will, a sea of golden yellow stretching as far as the eye can see. Each sunflower follows the sun's arc across the sky, a behavior known as heliotropism. These radiant plants provide seeds that yield the nutritious oil we love. Sunflowers, native to North America, are now grown worldwide. They thrive with sunshine, fertile soil, and just the right amount of rainfall. As summer approaches, sunflowers grow taller, reaching up to 16 feet. Their heads bloom, attracting pollinators with vibrant colors and sweet nectar. Bees, butterflies and other insects play a crucial role in the sunflower's life cycle. Each floret has the potential to develop into a seed, and the sunflower head transforms into a dense, seed-laden disc. When summer reaches its peak, the time for harvesting begins. The sunflower heads, heavy with mature seeds, start to bow, signaling that it's time to gather them. Modern combine harvesters, marvels of agricultural engineering, work swiftly moving through the fields to collect the bounty. These impressive machines are specifically designed to handle the unique challenges of harvesting sunflowers. As they move through the rows, they deftly cut the sunflower heads from their stalks and separate the seeds from the rest of the plant. Determining the right moment to harvest is crucial. It requires attention to the maturity of the seeds and the prevailing weather. Farmers rely on a combination of experience, scientific knowledge and careful observation to determine the optimal time to harvest. The harvested sunflower heads are then transported to the edge of the field, where they are loaded onto waiting trucks. For many farmers, this is the culmination of months of hard work, a time to celebrate the fruits of their labor. Once harvested, the sunflower seeds are transported to the production facility. Imagine these trucks, laden with the promise of golden oil, embarking on a journey from the fields to the factories where the transformation will occur. Each truck, a vital link in the chain of production, carries within it the essence of the sunflower fields. Upon arrival at the facility, the trucks are carefully weighed and their contents inspected for quality. Only the highest quality seeds, those that meet stringent standards for moisture content, size and purity, will be accepted for processing. This rigorous selection process ensures that only the finest sunflower seeds are used to produce the oil that will eventually grace our tables. The seeds are then transferred to large silos, towering structures designed to store them under optimal conditions. Inside these climate-controlled structures, the seeds await the next stage of their journey, their potential as a source of nourishment waiting to be unlocked. After being unloaded from the trucks, the seeds are carefully cleaned to remove any foreign materials like dust, flower petals or leaves. This initial cleaning process is essential for ensuring the purity of the final product. Imagine a series of conveyors and sieves working in concert to separate the sunflower seeds from any unwanted debris. Firstly, it helps reduce moisture content, preventing spoilage and ensuring the longevity of the seeds during storage. Secondly, it minimizes potential losses during storage by eliminating materials that could attract pests or promote mold growth. Sunflower seeds, especially when stored in large quantities, can pose a fire hazard if not properly cleaned and dried. By removing any potential sources of ignition, the processing facility prioritizes the safety of its workers and the surrounding environment. Air currents lift away lighter debris, while magnets attract any metal fragments that may have found their way into the mix. The clean seeds, now free of impurities, are ready for the next stage of their transformation. The next crucial step in the process is shelling, where the hard outer shell of each seed is removed to expose the precious kernel inside. This delicate operation requires specialized machinery designed to crack the shells without damaging the kernels. 
Imagine these machines, their intricate mechanisms working tirelessly to unlock the treasure hidden within each seed. This is done using advanced de-hulling machines that use centrifugal force to break the shells apart. The seeds are fed into a rotating drum where they are subjected to carefully calibrated forces that separate the kernels from their shells. As the shells are cracked open, they reveal the heart of the sunflower seed. The kernel, these kernels, pale and smooth, are what will eventually be pressed to extract the oil. The de-hulling process generates a significant amount of shell fragments, but these are not discarded. The shells that remain after de-hulling are not discarded. Instead, they are sent to a special incinerator within the facility. This incinerator, specifically designed to handle agricultural byproducts, plays a crucial role in the facility's commitment to sustainability. Imagine these shells, once considered waste, being transformed into a valuable resource. Here they are burned to generate heat energy, which is then used in the drying process. The incinerator operates under strict environmental controls, ensuring that emissions are minimized and comply with all relevant regulations. The heat generated from burning the shells is captured and used to power the dryers that remove excess moisture from the sunflower kernels. By utilizing a byproduct that would otherwise be discarded, the facility reduces its reliance on fossil fuels and minimizes its carbon footprint. The cleaned sunflower kernels are now roasted, enhancing the flavor and preparing them for oil extraction. Roasting transforms the flavor profile, unlocking depth and complexity. Imagine the kernels tumbling in large rotating drums as heat awakens their hidden flavors. Roasting breaks down cell walls, releasing oil and reducing moisture, improving extraction efficiency. The air fills with a warm, nutty aroma, a preview of the flavor that awaits. Once roasted, the kernels are ready for the final step oil extraction. This is where the magic truly happens as the kernels, now brimming with flavor and aroma, surrender their precious oil. Imagine a symphony of pressure and precision as powerful machines work in unison to extract the liquid gold. This is done using powerful mechanical presses that apply up to 48 tons of pressure to the kernels. These presses, marvels of engineering, exert immense force on the kernel, squeezing out the oil without crushing the delicate flavor compounds. As the oil is squeezed out, it is collected as crude oil, which still contains impurities like solids and leftover cake from the seeds. The remaining seed cake, a valuable byproduct of the oil extraction process, is often used as animal feed or further processed to extract other valuable components. The crude oil, fresh from the presses, embarks on a refining journey to remove any remaining impurities and transform it into the clear golden liquid we know as sunflower oil. This multi-stage process ensures that the final product meets the highest standards of purity, clarity and flavor. The crude oil undergoes a multi-stage filtration process to remove any remaining solids. This process, often involving a series of filters with progressively finer mesh sizes, removes any residual seed particles, ensuring a smooth and consistent texture. The oil, now free of particulate matter, is one step closer to its final form. Special filters are used to ensure that only pure oil passes through, resulting in a clean, golden liquid. The oil then enters a refining process, where any unwanted components, such as free fatty acids, phospholipids and colour pigments, are removed. Once the oil is refined and quality tested, it's ready for packaging. This final stage of the journey is no less important than the previous ones, as it ensures that the oil reaches consumers in pristine condition, its quality and freshness preserved. Imagine the golden liquid flowing through gleaming pipelines, its journey nearing its end. The sunflower oil is carefully poured into plastic bottles, which are made in-house by the factory to ensure the use of food-safe materials. These bottles, often made from high-density polyethylene, are designed to protect the oil from light, air and moisture, preserving its quality and extending its shelf life. The bottles are filled efficiently by high-speed machines capable of processing thousands of bottles per hour. The filled and sealed bottles are then packed into boxes and prepared for distribution. From the sunflower fields to your kitchen table, 
The journey of sunflower oil is a blend of nature's beauty and cutting-edge technology. It is a testament to the ingenuity of humankind, harnessing the power of nature to create a product that nourishes and sustains it. Each drop of this golden oil tells the story of careful cultivation, innovation and a commitment to quality.